said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. I feel he's blessed you. Do you understand what I'm saying? No matter what man does, if you're a child of God, man can only bless you. If he sends you out of this world, he's getting you into the new world quicker. And that's a blessing, praise God. So that's what we have to do every time that we turn around is be, be, be praising God, thanking God with every breath that he's given you. For those joining by television, we've had some technical difficulties here, and I've got to remember what I said a while ago. But that didn't mean anything to you, period. <laughs> but anyway, I want you to, to call a neighbor right now. Uh, we've got a blessing here for you. Our youth choir is going to be singing. But call a neighbor right now and tell them to join into the program. This can be your ministry. You can help us reach one more household by just calling your friend and telling them to turn the TV on. And I promise you they will be blessed. Some of you are walking in a valley. But I want you to stay tuned because the message that God has given me today is what he's going to do for those that are in the valleys. And if you've got a problem in your life right now, I want you to stay tuned and listen to what God's Word says. But right now in here, put your hands together. Make welcome Crossroads Youth Choir as they sing for God's glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I've got joy. Crossroads Community Church Youth Choir. Hallelujah. Things I could not understand 
Many times in trials, my weakness blurs my vision, and my frustration gets so out of hand. It's then I am reminded I've never been forsaken. I've never had to stand one test alone. And as I look at all the victories, the Spirit rises up in me. It's through the fire my weakness is made strong. He never promised that the cross would not get heavy and the hill would not be hard to hallelujah praise the name of the Lord when you're walking through the valley of decision and the devil or the adversary tells you to give in just hold on church hold on doesn't matter how large the enemy is if you have your Bible turn with me to first Kings chapter 20 many of you know the story about Ahab but as I started reading Yesterday, I kept trying to go to the New Covenant, the New Testament. I'd go over there and I'd read, and something would lead me back to the Old Testament, and I'd go to the New Testament and read, and something would lead me back to the Old Covenant. And, but when I got over here, you know, many Christians today are on the battlefield. Many Christians today are in the valley of decision. Many Christians today are fighting battles. And, and then I'm going to say this, and you, I can be judged by this also. If you're doing anything for God, and you're not fighting a battle, if you're doing anything for God and you don't have problems, I would look at the God that I'm doing it for. Because it's not God Jehovah. Every child of God all the way through the Bible, if you're doing anything for the Lord, you're going to be false. Brother David, we talked about this many times. You know what is the fire that comes when you make a commitment to do anything for the Lord. It's the fire, but you're going to be refined. Now, in, 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 the, in 1 Kings, I'm not going to go into the first battle, but I want